Hey everyone, I have a quick prophetic word to share today. And today's word is based on a vision I received from the Lord about probably a week ago or so. And the title of this word is your, you and your significant other are going to the chapel. You and your significant other are going to the chapel. And today's scripture reference is Song of Solomon 4, 9 through 15 and Proverbs 19, 14. And the Lord did give me a song for this one as well that I'll get into in just a minute. So Song of Solomon 4, 9 through 15, it's talking about, um, the young man is talking about his bride and he says, you have captivated my heart, my sister, my bride. You have captivated my heart with one glance of your eyes, with one jewel of your necklace. How beautiful is your love, my sister, my bride. How much better is your love than wine and the fragrance of your oils than any spice. Your lips drip nectar, my bride. Honey and milk are under your tongue. The fragrance of your garments is like the fragrance of Lebanon. A garden locked is my sister, my bride. A spring locked, a fountain sealed. Your shoots are an orchard of pomegranates with all the all choicest fruits. Henna with nard, nard and saffron, calamus and cinnamon, with all trees of frankincense, myrrh and aloes, with all choice spices. A garden fountain a well of living water and flowing streams from Lebanon. And then the second scripture reference is, fathers can give their sons an inheritance of houses and wealth, but only the Lord can give an understanding wife. So this passage in Song of Solomon, uh, well, let me talk about the visions I had. So I basically had a vision of my significant other carrying a suitcase and then like signing a paper, signing paperwork, which the Lord um, revealed to me that was a contract, like a marriage contract. And these uh, contracts have already been um, stamped with the Lord's approval and the spiritual realm, and they are going to be manifesting here on earth. And so the vision of the actual signing of the physical contract you know, is signifying those relationships, those marriages coming to fruition here on earth in the physical realm. And seeing my significant other with the suitcase tells me that many of you, your significant other is not in your life right now uh, for a number of reasons. And when this person comes back, it will be a very quick marriage and that's why the person has a suitcase because they're gonna be you know you guys are gonna get married quickly and then be moving in together um so the lord also gave me a song uh to go with this word and it is um chapel of love by the dixie cups and this was a song i think from the 50s um, but it says, go into the chapel and we're going to get married. Go into the chapel, we're going to get married. Gee, I really love you and we're going to get married. Go into the chapel of love. Spring is here, the sky is blue. Birds all sing as if they knew. Two days the day will say, I do, and will never be lonely anymore. And so, of course, right now, if you're watching this right now, um, in real time, it's, you know, January 29th, 2023. Some of you might see this at a later date and it could still apply to you at that time. But for those of you who this is a right now word, and please, this is for a very specific group of people, please take this to the Lord for confirmation. It should be confirming something the Lord's already spoken to in your spirit. And please test the spirit behind every prophetic word, including mine. But... For those of you um, who this is a right now word, and, and the Lord should have already confirmed to you if this is your season of marriage. Um, it's talking about the spring and you know, we're entering in the spring season. So for many of you, these relationships, these marriages will be coming together um, in the springtime. And the second verse says, um, bells will ring, the sun will shine, I'll be his and he'll be mine will love until the end of time and will never be lonely anymore. And then it just goes through, we're going to the chapel, we're gonna get married, going to the chapel. Gee, I really love you. And so both of you during the separation, you know, you both felt lonely, you missed each other. And this is just saying once you're reunited, um, 
you won't be lonely anymore because you know this person had to leave for a while so that you really both the lord could continue working on both of you because the last time you were together neither one of you was ready to move forward you might have thought you were ready but now you're seeing that you really have a little bit more work to do as well so the lord was really using this time to work on both of you so you know um absence makes the heart grow fonder and it also allows each of you to do your own healing so that when the lord brings you back together <clears throat> you know these will be beautiful um relationships uh pursuing kingdom work together many people will come to know jesus christ through these relationships many of you will be um doing ministry work together um each of you will have your own um you know, individual assignments that will, the Lord is elevating you in on this earth, but also uh, together your assignments are intertwined and um, you'll have, you know, an assignment together as well. So um, Song of Solomon, something that really popped out to me in this verse was, um, or in these verses, talks about, um, a garden is locked. A garden locked is my sister, my bride. A spring locked, a fountain sealed. To me, that's really speaking about purity. And this person sees that you are trustworthy. And this person may have been in relationships in the past where their significant other had lied to them, had cheated on them, and just um, was not trustworthy. And you've proven yourself trustworthy. You know, you've remained pure, really the entire um, relationship, at least, you know, for some of you, you have slipped up in the past, but you repented and you committed to God that you would not um, fornicate until you're married. And so, you know, this person sees that you are pure, you are practicing celibacy in all areas of your life, and you've really proven that you're a solid person even when you're not in a relationship, that you are a woman of God, you're a Proverbs 31 woman. And as it says here in Proverbs 19, 14, you're an understanding wife. You're gonna be somebody that this person can lean on, that they can trust. You know, this person's had trust issues in their past. They've been, um, you know, beat up and kicked around their whole lives by different women in particular. And so, you know, this person is realizing that you, they can trust you and that you have their back. And even during the separation, you've been remained in prayer. You've been following the Lord's divine instructions. You've been obedient, remaining pure and celibate and continuing to pray for this person and, and his that the Lord's perfect will is done in his life. You've prayed for increased spiritual gifts for this person. You've prayed for increased discernment. You've prayed that uh, the, the chains, the bondage this person may have been experiencing would be broken off. You've prayed for that this person would seek Jesus Christ first and foremost over everything. And, you know, you've been faithful in your prayer every day, multiple times a day. So um, just know that the Lord is going to fulfill his promise. And uh, as it says in Numbers 23, he is not a man that he should lie. So continue to follow your assignment, your instructions right now. And in the Lord's due time, he will bring these relationships together. But for many of you, this is going to be um, in the springtime. These, you know, these relationships are coming together and, um, you know, take it to the Lord for confirmation. And he'll, he'll tell you if this is your season. But he, for who this <clears throat> message is for, he's already told you. <laughs> So again, uh, I want to welcome all my new subscribers to the family. Please click the notification bell so that you can receive these messages as they're put out. If you feel the Holy Spirit's leading you to sow into this message, I encourage you to do so. I pray over every seed that the Lord will increase it a thousandfold. And I pray that the Lord will uh, go before you and follow behind you, leading and guiding and directing you into his perfect will for your lives. I want to thank all of you who've been praying for me. I continue to pray for all of you daily. I pray that the right people receive these messages. And, you know, be sure to share, share these messages so that uh, the algor algorithm of God will reach the right people. And again, just know that I love you all so much with the love of Christ and stay blessed.